You're going into bare knuckle I, I hear. Um, bare knuckle fighting championships. Okay. I've just done a deal with them, yes. Uh, I was talking to Dave Feldman, who was the president of Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships. And, you know, I'll tell you, a couple months ago, I probably wouldn't have thought twice about telling you now. Nah, I don't really have any issue, any, any interest in fighting. But, you know, he, he approached me with, uh, and he had a vision. He approached me with a, a good amount of money that obviously will get your attention. Um, and his vision, and, and he was a straight shooter. You know, he was a guy who is, is not typical of these kind of businesses. You, you don't find too many straight shooters in, in combat sports businesses, you know. He was a straight shooter, and, uh, and, and, and I liked his vision, and obviously I liked the money he was talking about. And little by little, we got closer, and we came to a deal. So um, it'll be interesting to see uh, uh, what, what, what this new venture brings for me. But I'm excited to be a part of it. And uh, if I told you that I would be starting to campaign, I'd be lying. You know, I'm 38 years old. I don't think you start to campaign in any combat sport at 38 years old. But I think to, to, to just to have been a part of it once or twice will, will just be a little feather in my hat to, to say, you know what, I, I tried this as well. And it was uh, an experience in and, in and of itself. And I see people already trying to match you up with your old adversary, Conor McGregor. Yes, people love to talk about the Conor McGregor and myself. Uh, you know, they, they, it's sort of always a, uh, a topic of conversation, and, and whether people love it or hate it, it always seems to be at the forefront of something that involves me and uh, and Conor. And I think, or the conversation. If you bring up me and Conor in a sentence, you know, that's where the conversation will go. So, so I think um, I think uh, uh, you know, it's always fun to talk about. But um, I think. Um, you know, we really have to go back to where this all started. It was just over a sparring video, right? I mean, we still haven't seen it. I think, I think people love to ask me about Conor McGregor. I think it's about time people start asking Conor McGregor about this video. You know, we we and, and it's pretty much you know I, I I get it. Most media people are fans of Conor McGregor, so they don't want to ask him the hard questions. They they never ask him the hard questions. But I think at a certain point you probably have to be like, okay, we've heard your version of events. We've seen you play six seconds of video. Let's. Let's see the rest of it, you know, and, and he's going to tell you, yeah, I did concuss him, I did this, and then, you know, of course, yeah, we've heard that too, but we kind of have to see it now, you know. I, I think if you're going to keep asking this question, and the media, they love bringing this up, every single interview I do, they love bringing this up. If you're going to keep asking this question, then you probably need to ask him to release the video, and they put some pressure on that, because you, you, you put it to bed at that point, you know, I mean, he's not going to fight me, so you, you put it to bed that way, you know, you put it to bed by, by uh, demanding the video, and then obviously making a fool out of him, because nobody does this nobody does what he did where or at a certain point you would we would have released the whole thing you know you know at a certain point you you kind of common sense will tell you he's hiding a lot you know it's not just hiding a little bit when you can only release six to seven seconds and it's not even concurrent you're hiding a lot you know there's a lot of things you're hiding there and and so i think common sense will tell you this after two years to where it's still going why is it still going people say oh it's because paulie talks about it no it's not just because paulie talks about it you know there's social media posts even as recently as this year you know where he's posting about me you know what i'm saying so he knows how to keep it alive every little bit every once in a while you know so uh, social media posts from Connor, you know, so so he knows how to keep it alive and, and he knows how to keep it going every little bit. But like I said, at a certain point, the media probably has to stop being fans and actually act like the old school people used to do in the media where they were actually reporters and, and journalists and, and, and kind of get to the bottom of it and start putting the pressure more on him. If you really want to know about it, then if you really don't want to know about it, then stop asking questions about it. You know, stop asking me, stop asking anybody else, you know. But if you really want to know about it, I think it's about time Connor gets the pressure and not, and not myself because I've explained to you what everyone, what ha to everyone what happened and uh, the, the only thing that hasn't been seen is the actual full video. And so, so if people are that curious, I think they would want to see the full video too.